Welcome back everybody, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is the Duke Nukem 3D 100% walkthrough for the PC, played through Steam on the Come Get Some difficulty. This is the 20th Anniversary World Tour, and this is Episode 2, Level 1, Spaceport. So let's get to it right here, the start of Episode 2. Get some. Nobody steals our chicks and lives. Yeah, watch out when these ships fly by these windows. The missiles they launch can actually damage you if you get too close to them, so... Where are we exactly in this ship? Like, what is this ship called? Well, it is the Polaris Outpost. And the first thing to do on the Polaris Outpost is to use the teleporter. And we'll grab the RPG and the steroids if we need them in this small subship right here. Now, if we use the Earth Defense Force screen, the EDF screen, under attack, help. So, this was the EDF's last message before the aliens took over these ships. But you know what? I want to show you guys something. At least the EDF crew had one last fun thing to do before the aliens took over. And isn't that just a good thing? Anyways. So the first thing to do is actually to go to the left side over here, approach the screen, and get the first secret area right here. So our goal for this room is to find some way to open up the Restricted Area Force Field. Cool. And the switch to do that is actually right here, so that switch will open up the Force Field. Now, if you face the switch, we see a monitor right here, and a monitor right here. And we can go through for a secret area. Okay, so now let's go through the force field area. Now, if you are below 100% health, you can use these water fountains in these ships for 1% each use to go back up to 100% health, which is always nice. Blow it out your ass. All right, now inside this main room, the first thing we're going to do is go to the left side. And then ride this lift up. Now up here, we need the blue key card to proceed, but if we use the Earth Monitor right here, we can get a holoduke if we really want a holoduke. So let's go back down. And our goal for this main room is to open up the force field right here to this tube. Now this tube actually extends up to the second level above us and you'll see the second part of this tube later on. Let's grab the RPG ammo. Now, the left door right here is locked for right now, so let's go through the right door, where we are introduced to a brand new enemy. The Enforcer. This alien is armed with a chain gun cannon, and he is very dangerous. Now, if you face the ramp and go to the right, you can get some armor. Make sure you don't miss that. We'll enter inside this room, and then we'll go back out. Because out here are two more enforcers, so make sure they both die. And back inside this room, we can get the portable med kit, and also the blue key and some scuba gear. Now, what is the scuba gear used for? Well, we can open up this white wall with the brown stripe and get to a non-secret area with some water. So let's submerge 
and we will get the chain gun cannon. And we can also get some night vision goggles down here, so make sure to grab both of these items in this non-secret area. Now inside this room is a vent, so let's go through. And we come to a dead end, but if we turn left and jump, we come to another dead end, but if we turn left and jump, we get some pipe bombs. Okay, so we have the blue key, so let's use it on the key card. I'm gonna put the smack dab on your ass. And that will open up the left door, so let's use the lift to go up to the second level with the extension of the tube, which you will see. See, here's the next part of the tube right here. Now there are three enforcers inside this room. The first one is in this wall of alcoves. You can see him up there. The second one is inside this window. And the third one is next to these canisters. So make sure that all three of them are dead. And then we will go up the ramp to kill some more enemies. <laughs> and the enforcer was shooting his own buddy, which is awesome. Okay, so this wall of alcoves right here. What we can do is go in the right one for a jetpack. And then, in the left alcove, we can use the jetpack to get up there for an atomic health. Now, we heard a door open. The only way to get to that door is through the force field, but we need to lower it down for the tube. So we will come back later on. So the next thing that we're going to do is investigate this out-of-order door we can go through on the other side and flip the switch. Just make sure that he dies. And then go up the ramp and go through this door. Now, there's nothing to do here. We can't go through the red door quite yet, so we will go back and come back later. Now about these switches that opened up, what we're going to do is use the second and the third switch. And that will open up the force field finally. So the first thing that we're going to do with the tube is go down to the very bottom level. And down here, we have the red key card, and we can press the switch, which will open up a non-secret area with some items. We will emerge. Wow. I need this atomic health now. We will emerge in this familiar area, the bottom level of the tube area. So let's use the jetpack to go back up to the second level. Now on this second level, the force field is gone. So we can use the jetpack to get back up to the left alcove. And open up the door then fall in the tube, emerge on the bottom level, and go through this door for some chain gun cannon ammo. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is use the jetpack to go back up to the second level again. Now, we're going to go up one more level. to another secret area with a devastator weapon. Now, I will demonstrate this awesome baby in this episode, actually, and you'll see when I will do that. For right now, we're going to go across this hole. What? Somebody got squished, but that's okay. We're going to fall down this shaft very carefully with the jetpack. There are three enforcers on this bottom level. Okay, I, I don't see him. 
But anyway, if we go up the ramp, we get a fourth enforcer. Oh, he got... Okay, he got squished by the door. That must have been the third enforcer that got squished earlier, and then the fifth enforcer also got squished. That's interesting. So, and it added one more enemy to my count. Anyways, let's go up one more level to the very, very top of the tube. Where we have more night vision goggles and a large medikit. So let's fall back down to the second level. And we have the red key now, so let's go through the red door. <laughs> but before we do that, um, what we're going to do, you see this lighted area on the ground. This is a lift, and you can actually lower it down for a secret area. Your final secret. With a shrinker. This is an awesome weapon that I will also demonstrate in this episode, and you'll see when I will do that. Grab the armor, and then you can fit through here. And you will emerge in this familiar area. So let's go through the red door now. And we have access to one more new enemy in this game. The Sentry Drone. He works a lot like a lost soul in Doom where he will try and charge your face, but he will explode in front of your face and cause massive damage, so he's worse than a lost soul. Anyways, we're done. Let's get out of here. Now, yeah, it says I killed 32 enemies, but like I said before, the third enforcer that got squished somehow added one more kill to the total, so your total should only be 31 enemies killed and not 32, unless an enemy got squished. Um, so yeah, this map introduces a lot of things to you all at once. It introduces two new weapons and two new enemies. So the weapons, the Devastator weapon and the Shrinker, both of them I have yet to demonstrate. Um, but don't worry, I will demonstrate them for sure in this episode because both weapons come in very handy for certain enemies that you will see in this episode. New enemies. Now the new enemies in this level are the Enforcer and the Sentry Drone. Very dangerous enemies that I don't like very much. Uh, the Enforcer has a chain gun and the Sentry Drone, yeah, he can go die in a fire. That robotic scum. There are no babes in this one, and that's because they are not here on the spaceport. So the spaceport is not the alien ship, it is merely a human ship that the aliens took over. But we are slowly going to get there... eventually. In fact, the very next level... Let's rock. ...is the Incubator. Oh my gosh, what could that mean? The Incubator. Well, maybe we'll find out in the next level of Duke Nukem 3D. So until then, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I will see you guys in the Incubator. Take care, everybody.